Hey everybody, Paul here. Thought I'd do a little chit chat here about double edge shaving, wet shaving, and its growth is a phenomenon as you can see in this Google Trends chart. Um, wet shaving, double edge shaving has uh, grown in popularity among us guys um, who are into vintage tools and tradition as well as saving money, being on a budget. I first started getting into this, uh, researching a more economical way of shaving rather than buying packs of plastic disposable or retractable razors for anywhere between six and 13 bucks a pop. You know, it gets expensive and you're just throwing all that plastic out in the landfill. And as someone who enjoys um, hand tools and quality knives like Oppenells and Mora's, you know, using an American made solid brass and nickel and copper tool, and in some cases gold plated like this vintage 1930s short comb, you know, it, it really is fun. Um, it evokes that same kind of feeling you get using bushcraft tools or carving wood with quality knives and chisels. And the history that goes along with this as well is, is a lot of fun. These super speed razors are really an ingenious invention. The way they open, load your blade, very, very thin high quality blades here. Actually, the Derby Extra is made from Swedish stainless steel, just like a Mora. And load that in there. Really a marvel of engineering design here on these super speeds. And you can, you can date these as well. This is a C4, so this is a 1957 Gillette super speed made in the fourth quarter of 1957. Pretty much my all-around favorite razor. So you can get blades, people, really cheap. Um, the Shark Super Chrome or the uh, Derby Extra blades here. You can pick these up for like 13 bucks for a hundred of these blades. And these blades will last you like five shaves. So, you know, for 13 bucks, you've got a year and a half of shaving. I can blow that on a pack of retractables or disposables in a month or two. With all of these razors that I have here in my collection, I've done videos on all of them, and they all do approach your face differently, and it's just being sensitive to that blade angle and finding what I call that sweet spot um, to get the best shave out of whatever razor you're using at the time. So those of you out there who are into bushcraft, who are into quality tools like your Oppenells, your Moras, your Ontario knives and stuff, you may want to check out getting into double-edge shaving or wet shaving because you know you have all that tradition and sense of quality craftsmanship like you do with your bushcraft tools or your knives in something that you're using every day or nearly every day of your life. So in that way, it, it is a lot of fun to, uh, to get into this, and you're going to save money in the long run. You're also going to want to pick yourself up a boar bristle or badger brush. This is an Italian boar bristle called uh, the Omega brush. Very, very lightweight. $10 shipped on eBay or Amazon. You could probably find a similar brush. But these are pretty stiff bristles, but with soap, they lather up really nicely and uh, soften up your beard. You want to get away from the shaving um, canister kind of stuff and you want to get into some quality soaps to lather your face. It really makes a huge difference to uh, do that properly before you shave this way. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing your comments below about your journey to double-edged or wet shaving. Um, what brought you there? How many years you've been doing it? I know some of you guys have been double-edge shaving for 40 years. Others, others of you might just be getting into it, checking it out. What are some of your favorite razor and blade combinations? We really look forward to hearing from you on that, and we'll see you real soon.